Hi, this is Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse, and today we're going to do a quick little tutorial on how to do some color grading and making the footage from your multicopter as good as possible. Now, if you're shooting with a GoPro, you're going to want to make sure that you have ProTune turned on, and if you're shooting with the DJI Inspire 1, you want to make sure that you go to styles and select log format. So the footage we're going to be looking at here is going to be done with the Inspire 1. You already saw the finished video and after we're done here we'll show a before and after so you can see how it's done. So I've got my timeline. I'm going to select the clip down here. I'm going to come over to the color section. I'm going to add a new correction layer and I'm going to open that go to exposure and I'm going to open up my vector at using command 7 and make sure you go to settings and that you're on waveform and luma IRE and guides so waveform luma IRE and guides okay this is showing a waveform of our exposure what I want to do is get my highlights as close to 100 and I want my shadows just above zero so somewhere in this you know first third section above zero so i'm going to grab my highlights and as you see you as you bump them up they'll start clipping up there we don't want that so i just want to bring my, my highlights maybe a little feathering over the hundred grab my shadows pull them down a little bit and you can already see look how much that color has popped a little bit now I'm going to go to my saturation. I'm going to bring up my highlights a little bit, my midtones, not quite as much, and my shadows just a hair. Now we can go back here. I'm going to close the highlight uh, or the uh, exposure meter. We can see the finished product. Now I can turn the correction on and off so we can sit, try and see the difference here. So you can see it's pretty flat not a whole lot of color to it. Turn it on and wham! Very, very impressive. So that's really all there is to doing some basic color grading, setting the exposure and the saturation a little bit to make everything really pop using Final Cut 10. And thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed this and we hope this helps you to make the most out of your video imagery. Thanks for watching again. This is Kerry Garrison with Multicopter Warehouse. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.